Hi guys, welcome back to my drugstore week. So today's video is going to be a fall makeup tutorial and this one is going to be a forest green eye look. And for this look I use the Fortune Favors the Brave eyeshadow palette from Makeup Revolution. So if you want to see how to get this beautiful earthy makeup look then please keep watching and we'll get started. Okay guys, the first thing I'm going to take to start off this makeup look is the Fortune Favours the Brave eyeshadow palette and I'm going to pick up some of this taupey shade which is Glimmer and just apply that all over my eyelid. Okay so then taking this soft brown shade which is Latte and I'm going to use that to deepen up my crease and I'm using a blending brush just to make sure there's no harsh edges. Okay, so going back into the palette, I'm going to take the shade Caffeine Fix, and this is a darker chocolatey brown shade. I'm just going to deepen up my crease even more by applying that there and blending out with a fluffy blending brush. So I'm also focusing this slightly more on my outer corner just to give me that smoky edge. So I'm then picking up some of this camel green colour which is tip top and I'm going to apply that straight onto my eyelid and I'm using a large flat definer brush to apply this shade. Okay so I'm going to take this Yes Please shade which is a darker browny greenish shade with some gold shimmer flecks in it and I'm going to focus that a little bit in my outer corner. Then taking this marbly green machine shade, I'm going to apply that directly onto my eyelids for a sheeny green pop. So I'm going to warm up this eye look a bit more with the shade Winning and this is a matte purpley shade and I'm just going to apply that directly into my outer corner just to smoke that out. And here I'm using the Sigma blending brush just to apply that shade. So I'm going to add a little bit more of Green Machine directly on top of my eyelid just to make it pop even further because the shadow that I used there sort of took away the colour a bit. Okay so now to make my inner corners and brow bone pop I'm going to take this marbly shade here which is New Worlds and this is a gorgeous shade and I'm just going to apply that directly into my eye, inner, inner corners and my brow bone. So now to make this eye look more dramatic, I'm going to use some Barry M's liquid eyeliner to create a wing. So I'm going to remove my tape here and you can see how this makes a really straight and sharp edge to my eyes which is just amazing. Okay so now moving on to my face, I'm going to be taking this Maybelline's Baby Skin Primer. I'm just going to apply that all over my face, really rub that in because I really love how this makes my skin feel. It makes it very mattified, very smooth and yeah, it's just lovely. So I'm then going to take this beautiful foundation from L'Oreal and it's their Nude Cushion Foundation and I do have a first impression review of this which I'll link below in the description box if you would like to see that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to apply this with the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge and I'm just going to apply that all over my face as you would do. Okay. 
Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to take Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer and I'm going to apply that in a triangle shape under my eyes, a little bit on my forehead, my nose and my chin. And I really love this concealer because it doesn't crease really under your eyes, which is great. So it's really great for wearing all day and it just lasts really nicely. And yeah, I really, really love this. It's becoming one of my new favourites. And I already love the eraser one from Maybelline, I think that's great, but this one I think is just taking over that one just a little bit because yeah, this one is just great as well. Okay, so I'm just using the Real Techniques setting brush to blend in this concealer and I really do like using this brush to blend in my concealer because it gives you more of a flawless finish which I absolutely love. Okay, so now moving on to my favourite part of doing my makeup and it is bronzing and I'm using this Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer and um, this is a nice warm shade so I'm just going to apply this slightly into the holes of my cheeks and also up into my cheekbones a little bit just to give me a slight contour effect as well but I am going to be going in later with another contour shade to deepen out, to chisel out and deepen out my cheekbones a bit more but yeah I'm just going to use this BH Cosmetics double ended face brush and just going to apply that into the hollows on my neck and my forehead. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to chisel out my cheekbones even more using this Barry M Flawless Chisel Cheeks Palette. And I'm going to use the middle shade because this is one I prefer to use for chiseling out my cheeks. And I'm just going to apply that to the holes of my cheeks and just creates even more of a chiseled look, which is beautiful. Now moving on to this new little kit that I've got from Maybelline and it's the Master Brows Kit and this is in the shade, I'm not too sure what number this is actually, I'll leave it in the description box for you and I'm just going to basically start sculpting my eyebrows with this and I've been really loving using this lately because these shades give me more of a darker, bolder brow which I have been really enjoying. So to set my brow hairs in place I'm going to use this Rimmel's Brow This Way little styling gel. So then going back to my eyes, I'm going to be taking this Makeup Academy Eyeliner Pencil which is in the shade Forest Green and I'm just going to run this just slightly below my waterline along my lower lash line to create some sort of like greeny look and effect down there and then once I've finished with that I'm going to go in with the Rimmel's Scandalized Waterproof Eyeliner I think it is and I'm just going to run that right into my waterline, basically tight line and just to pull the whole eye look together. Now to make my lower lash line look less harsh, I'm going to take the shade Green Machine again and I'm just going to smoke that along that lower lash line there. And for this I'm using the Sigma pencil brush. Okay now guys, to complete the eye look, I'm going to coat my lashes with some of L'Oreal's Telescopic False Lash Effect Mascara. This is great for really giving you spidery, volumized lashes. Okay, so now moving on to this pretty little blush from Sleek and it's in the shade Suede and I showed this in my first video which was my drugstore haul which is one before this. I will link that below for you so you can see that. And this is just a nice sort of peachy muted shade so I'm just going to apply that to the apples. Now for highlighter I'm going to use a shade in the palette which is Ice Cloud and I'm just going to run that right along my cheekbones and as you can see it gives a nice sort of icy shimmery, not shimmery, sorry it's not even shimmery, it's just a nice sheen look to my cheekbones which I absolutely love and I'm just going to apply a little bit to my nose and my cupid bow as well. Now for lip liner I'm taking this one from Barry M which is in the shade number one.
And then for lips, I'm taking this Barry M lipstick, which is in the shade Marooned. And this is from their new Satin Lips collection, which I did show in my Drugstore Week haul video as well, which I'll link below in the description box. Um, but yeah, so this is in the shade Marooned, and it's a gorgeous sort of deep reddy brownie shade. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I haven't had a shade like this before ever. Um, so yeah, I'm really loving this. It has a lovely kind of satiny but quite sheeny finish to it as well, which is beautiful. So this is the finished look. I really hope you liked and enjoyed. Thumbs up and stay tuned for the rest of my Drugstore Week videos coming up soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.